So hey guys, welcome back to the another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about the GATE scorecard validity for the colleges like IITs, NITs, Triple IITs, and other government colleges. And we will also talk about the validity of GATE scorecard for the PSUs. So before I start, hit the like button, subscribe the channel, and let's get started. So firstly, if we talk about the GATE scorecard validity for the college admissions like IITs, NITs, Triple IITs, and other government colleges. So that is for the next three years from the examination year. For example, if I have appeared in the GATE 2024, then my scorecard validity will be for the next three sessions, like 2024 to 2025, 25 to 26, and 26 to 27. Now, to understand this more clearly, let's take two different scenarios. Now, in the first scenario, you have worked hard, you have scored enough to get into a good college with a decent branch. But apart from the GATE exam, you also want to explore few more things in your life. You want to Like uh, explore few more exams like government exams. So you have decided to take a drop for that. Now let's just skip one year, and uh, now you realize the things are not really good, and you want to get back to the admissions. You want to get admission into a college for your masters or PhD or MS, whatever it is. So now here the validity comes into the picture. Even if you have not appeared for the GATE exam, you can still get admission into the colleges because you have already scored enough to get a good college with a decent branch. So this is the benefit of GATE scorecard validity in the first scenario. Now in the second scenario, the same thing. You worked hard, you get enough score to get into NITs, Triple IITs, and other government colleges. But your score is not enough to get into the IITs. But you are such a guy who really want to get into IITs or want to study in IITs, who really want to want a tag of IITN. So now you have decided to take a drop to improve your rank. so that you can get admission into the iits now after one year you again appeared for the gate exam but now this time your score is unfortunately lesser than the before because you were not able to prepare well for some sort of reasons for some sort of personal reasons personal problem and now you cannot afford to take a drop again and you have to get admission into a college so now again the validity comes into the picture you have two score cards and when you reattempt the exam to improve your rank it doesn't override your previous score so now you have two uh, gate scores so you can use the highest one to get admission into the college if it is in validity so this is the benefit of gate scorecard validity in the second scenario now secondly if we talk about the gate scorecard validity for the psus public sector undertaking then it is for the next one year from the examination year means if i have appeared in the gate 2024 then i am only applicable to sit for the psu recruitment process for the next one year After one year, if I want to go for the PSU recruitment process for the 2025, then I will have to appear for the GATE 2025. Then only I can uh, sit in the recruitment process of PSU 2025. My scorecard of GATE 2024 is not valid for the next year uh, recruitment process of the PSUs. There might be some situation or uh, the exception where a PSU can allow the previous year student to sit in the recruitment process. Now you can plan your GATE preparation. How you can take maximum benefits of GATE scorecard validity with your other career plans because you might have some plans for your career. So accordingly, make your career plans and take maximum benefits out of it. And now that's all in this video. Till then, take care. Start preparing for the GATE, and I will see you in the next video.